let me bring both the graphs at one place. This already I written, I'll, I'll take it out, huh? not needed. Yeah. Okay, let's know what we do is like a, we have equations. What are the equations? The intensity versus time graph, the amplitude versus time graph is needed. So shall we take help of this? So again, we'll put F1 minus F2 as the, so what is the equation I should write? Let me write it here. This, I'll, I'll Uh, this is a theoretical concept. It's a little bit you find difficult. Once you understand this, <coughs> it'll be very easy for you. This is the intensity versus time graph. Similarly, I want now amplitude versus time graph. So I'll, I'll, I'll proceed with this one. Here is what we had equation. Now for this, we'll plot it. Okay, now we'll simplify. What is F1? F1 is three years, F2 is one years, no? So this, if you simplify, what do you get? 2a cos 2 pi t. This particular thing is what we have to plot it. I, I'm putting everything in order so that it will be very easy for you. So what is this graph? We have plotted for this. Now we have to plot amplitude versus time graph. A co cosine, it's a cosine function, so it will be positive as well as negative will be there. So the same instance of time will take it. 1 by 8, 1 by 4, 3 by 8. This is the amplitude and this is time. Now first put t equal to zero. <coughs> what do you get? You get two a no. Here, here. I'm asking you all of you look at it. Put t equal to zero, you'll get two a. So this will be a. This is the amplitude. The the point will be here. Put t equal to one by eight. Put t equal to one by eight. What do you get? Pi by four pi by 4, cos pi by 4, 1 by root 2, so root 2a, so the, the, the point will, will, will be here, root 2a. Uh, root 2 will be 1.4, so the, it will come at this particular point. Cosine function, I'm asking you to plot the cosine function, nothing, nothing, this one, 1 by 8, uh, 1 by 4, it should be 0, put t equal to 1 by 4, cos pi by 2 will be 0, put t equal to 3 by 8, 3 pi by 4. 3 pi by 4 will be, uh, again, again it will come. So this is minus A. This is minus A. Minus 2A. So 1.4. So it will, it will be, if you are very good in that plotting trigonometric functions, okay, it's much easier for you. So T equal to 1 by 2. Cos pi minus 2A, it will come. Okay, it's a cosine function. The, the, then again, the rest all values. So this will be <coughs> 1 by 8, 1 by 4, 3 by 8, 1 by 2. Let me first put, let me put first the dots. Then it will be 0. I think that this will be sufficient. Okay, let me go for the graph on this. Hmm. 
this will be 5 by 8, 3 by 4, 7 by 8. This will be 1, 9 by 8, 5 by 4, 11 by 8, 3 by 2, 13 by 8. And this is 7 by 4. Okay, this is the amplitude versus time graph. So what is the uh, the beat period? So this only you, you extend this line. So in how to calculate beat period in amplitude versus time graph, the time between the maxima and the minima. So the, not, not maxima, so it's a positive peak and the negative peak. That should be the what like it will become beat period. So I'm more interested to know this beat period. So how to calculate the beat period? So what are the methods? Okay, you have everything in front of your graph. Okay, this what we are plotting. This is the graph. What we are plotting is 2a cos 2 pi t. So this is what we are plotting. I'll, I'll pull it down. Uh, no, no, I, I have really brought very beautiful thing in front of you. Just look at here, let me have water. What is a, oh, sir, actually what you are interested, you can ask me a question, what you are interested. I was interested how that intensity varies at point P, the loudness will vary, as it will vary harmonically. Then it is varying periodically. So this is one, one cycle. So then what is the frequency at which the intensity is varying? I, I'll be interested. No? For that, I should know the beat period, the time period. The time period, I'll call it as a beat period. How to calculate beat period? There are two things are there. First, in intensity versus time graph, note down what is one time taken for one intensity cycle. So how you say what is one intensity cycle? I think you, you know enough mathematics. There's a positive, there's a peak, peak to peak. This will become one intensity. Or, or you can take this is one beat period. This is a one cycle. Or, or you, you can do one thing from, from this value to this value, one unit cycle. The easiest one is, Identifying periodicity, I think mathematics, periodicity, this is one periodicity. Okay, got this one. Or amplitude versus time graph, I'll plot it. Here, this is not one cycle. Actually, this is for signal. For the Y displacement of a given signal, what happened? This is one cycle here. But, but what happened in amplitude versus time graph, what you should do? The distance between the positive peak and the negative peak. That time interval is what? The beat period. The reciprocal of beat period will be the beat frequency. So what is the beat frequency? F beat should be equal to one by T beat. I'm looking at the diagram. What is the beat value? 0 0.5. So one, one, 0 0.5. So this should be equal to how much? Two hertz. So what is the beat frequency now? Is equal to two hertz. So what do you mean by two hertz? In one second, how many intensity cycles completed? That is one nothing but the beat frequency. So how you define beat frequency? Number of intensity cycles completed in one second. I'm coming to the core concept of this one. Means like in, in one second, so you can see how many cycles got over? One, two. So two cycles got over. That's for the beat frequency. So how many beats I'm going to hear? The two hours. So now you can ask questions, sir. Okay, fine, sir. What is use of this? This is what the music. Huh? What all we have music? Okay, let's come back to this one. So if you stand at point P, then tell me like what is the type of signal you are you are going to hear a signal melodious you better say that one means la 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 is it not melodious of course i'm not a singer 
uh, definitely you can say yes to some extent this one instead of this if signal comes like this the intensity uh can you hear this for longer time so then when the melody will be added to the music or the song only when the intensity varies in one proportion that one so this will be definitely a melodious one you don't have much music information so how you vary the intensity of a signal means when you swing when you sing a song how you control that variation of intensity that will add to melody means now uh, okay sir like uh, you are talking about something melody so first of all uh, the different types of signals okay let's do one thing 